we're salespeople. We try to hype, hype it up, bring the excitement out of the product or something we're sharing. And other people may, most likely, are not on that same vibration or level of excitement, you know? It doesn't have to do with the actual product. Anything that's going on in their life, if they're at a lower vibration with it, that's the energy and mood they're gonna give off. Whatever energy you're in, always make sure yours is more positive, uplifting. But at the same time, you don't be overly exciting. Go off of them, what they're giving off. If they're lower, lower your vibration to their level to match it a little more, a little bit higher though. The world is made up of vibration, everything. Everything vibrates on a certain frequency level and there's positive and negative and all the in-betweens on different vibrations like the grass, the roads, the clouds. They all operate on certain vibrations. That's how they are created or made or there. <laughs> Humans have that too. We have an overall vibration that we're at usually. Some people know how to uplift theirs. Some people get into a funk or get super down on themselves and be in a negative state. That lowers your vibration. Once you're in that lower vibration, once you allow yourself to be there, that's basically all you're gonna get in life because they attract each other. The negative is gonna attract more negative vibrations because you are operating on the same frequency level as other negative things you don't want. But you're operating at the same level, so that's all you're gonna get. So the people that, they're on the higher ones, they get more, more of what they want or the good things because they work hard to bring themselves up or they just are on a higher energy vibration level. It's about you and where you're at with things. You need to focus on you and determine where you're at on the scale and always improve. Just getting 1% better. Knocking, for example, sales, can apply to life overall. When you're knocking, learn to recognize where they're at, read off of them, and try to match it, match their mood. It's like controversial. You do want to be positive, like about the product. At the same time, if they're lower, they don't want the product or something like that, they're not interested at all, you gotta find out why. Get on their level so you're not just overlooking it. You're not on their level so you can't see their the problems they have, the obstacles that are in the way. Allow yourself to see it at least. I'm not saying like bring your whole being down like that. If someone's in a bad mood, then don't let it get to you. But there's gotta be a reason. You gotta get to that level and find out. But like I said, always be one tier ahead of them, above them. That's your job. It's your job in this world to always, always be one step closer, especially with sales. It's your job to hype it up. Confidence level. I was just feeling annoyed, like, I'm confident in myself. Like, I take no way shit. I underestimate myself a lot. Sometimes I just like put myself on a lower pedestal for some reason that doesn't exist because my confidence, I guess. Because I don't feel like I have it. I don't know. I have to make an effort for it. It comes a lot easier to some people. Being outgoing and, oh, I gotta go that way? I'm not. <laughs> we did a role play. It's where like one acts as a homeowner and one acts as the appointment setter. So I got up there and I'm like excited because I just love that kind of stuff. Then I just like, I lose my mind, like forget. I just go off of habit or whatever I'm used to. But I love it <laughs> and I want to be able to think because I have stuff to say all the time. I did today. I'm actually so proud of myself for getting up there. I don't know why it's such a big step because I love it and I want to more. So, one mile, okay, what? I just stopped for no reason. It just comes with more practice and more doing it. Well, I know that for a fact. But it's so hard sometimes to like start and just break through, you know? It's honestly really good, so. I just wasn't very confident. Worry about others 
too much instead of just using my mind and thinking in the moment I just go off of habit after getting rejections I kind of started to go down my confidence even my tone I literally lowered my mood my excitement I'm supposed to build up on it say they give you their reasons why not gotta get to that level find out why more about it build up off of that not let it bring you down more and deteriorate it I always have to remind myself to be like that it's just like a habit we gotta work on and build upon being aware of it so that's the first step just realizing how you can improve so that's what I'm working on even with these videos I've seen a lot of improvement so it's it's good sometimes I'm still like hey awkward I don't know what to say shyish I don't know that's with everything at first like first steps is just actually doing it it was uncomfortable to turn these videos on at first and I didn't want to really or like it but I just made myself like try to say stuff try to talk when I would turn the videos on my brain would just shut down also even now it's like harder to think with something watching like recording especially just breaking that habit I guess getting uncomfortable for a little bit and then you will start to see improvement it will get better once you build the habits I went on a really good run and it felt so good. You should go on because it will make you feel so awesome. I'm gonna go. Cheers. <laughs>